Hi everyone, we will talk about model tuning using grid search, which is an important part of machine learning project. Let's get started. Let's assume that you now have a short list of a promising model. You now need to fine tune them. Let's look at a few ways you can do that. One way to do that would be to fiddle with the hyperparameter manually until you find the great combinations of hyperparameter values. This would be very tedious work. And you may not have a time to explore many combinations. Instead, you should get a scikit-learn grid search CV to search for you. All you need to do is tell it which hyperparameter you want it to experiment with and what value to try out. And it will evaluate all possible combinations of hyperparameter values using cross-validation. For example, the following code search for the best combinations of hyperparameter values for the random forest regressor. From scikit-learn.model underscore selection import grid search CV, parameter underscore grid variable equal to square bracket, open square bracket, and estimators 3, 10, 30, maximum feature, Two, four, six, eight. Post trip false because it is default true, so that we make it false. And estimators three, ten, maximum features two, three, four. Forest underscore regressor object random forest equal to random forest regressor class with hyperparameter random underscore state equal to 42. Grid search variable equal to grid search CV class forest underscore regressor object parameter underscore grid CV equal to 5 scoring equal to negative mean squared error return train score equal to true. A grid search dot fit method housing underscore prepared housing labels. Click run. When you have no idea what a value hyperparameter should have, simple approach is to try out consecutive powers of 10. Or small number if you want more fine-grained search. As I shown in this examples, and estimators 3, comma, 10, comma, 30. This uh, variable, parameter underscore grid, tells scikit-learn to first evaluate all three product with 4 equal to 12 combinations of n estimators and maximum features. Hyperparameters value specified in the first duct. Don't worry about the about what these hyperparameters mean for now. They will be explained later. Then try all two product with three equal to six combinations of hyperparameter values in the second duct. But this time, but this time with the boost trip hyperparameter set to false, as are shown here. Bootstrap false. Instead of a true, which is the default value for the hyperparameter. All in all, the grid search will explore 12 plus 6, which is equal to 18 combinations of random forest regressor. Hyperparameter values and it will train each model five times. Since we are using five-fold cross-validation. In other words, all in all, there will be 20 product with five equal to 90 rounds of training. It may take a quite a long time, but when it is done, you can get the best combination of parameters like this. By using this command, we can see the best hyperparameter. Click run. Maximum feature. 8 and estimators 30. 
which is the best hyperparameters of random forest model. Since 30 is the maximum value of an estimators that was evaluated, you should probably evaluate higher values as a well, since the score may continue to improve. You can also get the best estimator directly by using this command grid underscore search dot paste underscore estimators click run and estimators equal to 30 which is the best hyperparameters of random forest model if random or, or if grid search cv is initialized with refit equal to true which is a default then once it finds the best estimator using cross validation it returns it on the whole training set this is usually a good idea since feeding its more data will likely improve its performance and of course the evaluation scores are also available cv result equal to grid underscore search dot cv underscore result underscore for mean underscore score comma parameters in the type c v uh, result square bracket between square bracket mean underscore test underscore score comma c v result between square bracket parameters print number array dot sqrt twin parentheses negative mean underscore score comma parameters close parentheses click run as you can see here this is rmse root mean square error the best one here uh, maximum phr 8 and estimators 30 or 30 and here maximum phr equal to 3 and estimators equal to 10. You have successfully fine-tuned your best model. Don't forget that you can treat some of the data preparation steps as a hyperparameter. For example, the grid search will automatically find out whether or not to add feature you weren't, weren't sure about using add bedrooms per room hyperparameter of your combination attribute others transformer it may be similarly be used to automatically find the best way to handle outliers missing feature feature selection and more thanks for watching